Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'll show you how to sew a single layer pocket into a flat felt side seam. It's a great pocket for lightweight or sheer fabrics, and also if you don't have a serger or overlocker to finish the seams. A special shout out to Sarah, who's been waiting a long time for me to make this tutorial. So the front of your garment acts as the front of the pocket, and then you just have one piece for the pocket back. On the back of your garment, you'll have a nice strong flat felt seam holding it all together and then a nice clean finish for the edge of the pocket. Links for all the tools I use can be found in the description below. To sew your pocket, you'll have the back of your garment, the front and one pocket piece. For this pocket, I'm doing it with a straight edge and a pocket big enough for my entire hand. From the top corner, measure down one and a quarter inches or 32 millimeters and mark on the straight edge. From that mark, measure down 6 inches or 15.2 centimeters for the pocket opening. If you'd like the exact size and shape of this pocket, you can find the link for this pattern in the description below. With wrong sides together, place your front piece on top of your back piece with the side seams lined up. Figure out where your pocket opening needs to be on the side, then place your pocket piece on top with right side up and all the edges even. Then cut notches through all the layers at the marks about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters deep. I'm just going to mark the notches on the wrong side of the fabric so that you can see. Take the front piece and turn it over with wrong side up and the notches facing you. Depending on the look you want, you can use seam allowances anywhere from half an inch to an inch for your project. For this sample, I'll be using a three quarter inch or two centimeter seam allowance. This step is optional. You can mark a line between the notches, three quarters of an inch or two centimeters up from the edge. Then square it off to the notches. Carefully cut these short lines just to the corner, making sure that they're even. Fold and match the edge of the pocket opening to the line and press across. Then fold again exactly the same amount right to the corners and press across. Of course, this step is optional. You can just fold and stitch without pressing. With the pocket piece right side up, we need to turn and press the seam allowance all around the curved edge. Turn up quarter of an inch or slightly less, about five millimeters, and press all around. Work on about an inch of fabric at a time. Because you're folding up a curve, you'll see a little bit of ease that you'll have to press flat. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. Next, we need to top stitch the pocket opening down, starting from just on the inside of this edge. Start your stitching about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters in from the raw edge. There's no need to back tack, Stitch to this first corner, needle down, lift your foot and pivot, and then you're going to edge stitch all along this fold, stopping an eighth of an inch before the raw edge at the bottom. Pivot again and then edge stitch along the inner fold. When you get to the top, pivot and stitch over the original line of stitching and then trim all your threads. With your pocket right side up, place your front piece on top, matching your notches and the edges at the side. If you need to, pin or clip the top edges together, make sure the pocket opening is lying nice and flat, and then pin or clip the bottom edges together. We just want to stitch and secure these raw edges and also the edges of the pockets down. Check that the edge of the pocket is still folded over. Start at the top of the pocket, back tack, stitch along the edges and then back tack again before the edge of the pocket opening. Repeat this for the bottom edges and then turn over. If you need to, pin around the edge of the pocket to keep it in place. Starting from here, edge stitch around the pocket, back tacking at the start and finish. You can also find my tutorial for a flat felt seam with a French seam pocket here. This is what the pocket looks like on the right side. If we go in, you can see the raw edge in there. 
It's perfectly fine like that, but I want to do another row of top stitching with the same distance in between as the top stitching on the pocket opening. By doing this, it'll encase the raw edges and then you won't feel it when your hands are inside your pocket. With right sides together, place your back piece on top of the front piece, matching your notches and the side edges. Again, we'll be sewing with a three quarters of an inch or two centimeter seam allowance. What's important when we're sewing this seam together is that we stitch right into that cut corner and that we don't sew any of the pocket opening. What will help is if you feel for that corner and place a pin through it. Start by back tacking and when you get to the pin, pull it out and then move the pocket opening out of your way. Continue stitching and repeat for the bottom corner. Open your fabric to the right side and check that the corners have been stitched into the seam. You can see I still have a little bit of the corner showing so I need to get in a little bit closer. You can also see my stitching is a bit crooked here as well. You don't need to unpick it, you just need to stitch a little bit closer and of course straighter. It's better if you don't sew close enough than it is to sew too close and catch the pocket opening. Next we need to trim the seam allowance down on the back piece only. Trim it down to quarter of an inch or six millimeters wide. You can eliminate this step if you already have a smaller seam allowance for the back piece to begin with. Next we're going to fold the front seam allowance over the back so that the edge meets up with the stitch line. Then we'll sew a holding stitch just to the right of the raw edge. Make sure you're turning and folding the seam allowance evenly. You can also skip the stay stitch if you just want to press the seam down. Open up the fabric with the seam allowance towards the back. Then edge stitch just to the right of that seam, back tacking at the start and finish. Turn it over to the wrong side and we'll sew the seam down with an edge stitch along the fold. Turn it over to the right side and now what we need to do is reinforce each end of the pocket opening. With the edges lined up and nice and flat, we're going to stitch from this top stitch across the seam and to the first top stitch on the back. We want to make it nice and secure over the seam. You could also make a bar tack with a really narrow satin stitch. This stitch also secures and hides the raw edge of the pocket opening. Now repeat for the other end. So the result is a beautiful flat pocket without any bulk. And the back is just about as neat as the front. Make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.